proximity, though. It, it's in your best interest if you can. To, exactly. Because you can control what happens there. And, and, <coughs> and as I said, that, I mean, you, it's, you control it, though. Yeah, you control it, and now, uh, in terms of making a move from the site, we know there are people that are interested in it. One of my biggest questions all along has been how much parking that you're going to be required to have. 396 spaces. And see, to me, that's just totally insane. Jeez. Because there's no way in the world that you're going to have. Based on square footage. Based on, well, square, footage. Based on square footage that Franklin it's City the said they have to have. For a public, for a public. And it's, that's from the planning department. How many spaces do you have now? 125. <laughs> That's with overflow, that's one of the reasons reason why the present site is not working. We have overflow to the, I mean, we do it back and forth. Parks overflows to us, we overflow to parks. But I still think, and, and I know the discussion is saying that when you come, if you come downtown, if you come downtown, then you're not only building parking space for you, but also for the community for the, to use. Right. Well, let and the it's community, a partnering. Let, let, let the city, in my opinion, let the city or county, whoever, buy the, park, buy the parking. I, yeah. I think. Yeah. In my opinion, from what I've been hearing, it, it appears to me that, that the library is getting railroaded to build all these parking places so we can put a high rise parking lot downtown. Now that's um, that's we have the no, talk of what I've been hearing. Well, and, and, I, and I, I'm, I'm afraid that <laughs> you're kind of getting drug into that in order but, to make that happen. But we're basically saying that's we're not going to let that happen. Yeah. And, there's going to be just, there's got to be a partnering between. A parking, we're not, I mean, I've said that from the get-go back when we were doing site selection. We're not going to come downtown and solve downtown's parking problems. It's got to be a joint effort between us and the city. I think that, you know, the mayor's been pretty strong in his comments about that being a partner. We need to start talking to the people that control the TIF dollars about that as a possibility. But but there again, it's it's got to be a partnering. I mean, there's no way that how, we're going to do spaces, that at the expense. How many of spaces on a building that size do you think you would really need? <laughs> well, I would say, I mean, day, if sure. it's been on the day, I mean, a minimum of, in my mind, 200 upwards of that. I mean, right now, we simply don't have the parking that we need. Well, I know you don't now. Yeah. And especially if you have a special program. You have a special event. Like I said, they're parked. You know, just but hope you. I, I don't know. Just that's just plan around the pool schedule. You know? <laughs> like. I'd kind of like to see this table until we can find out how the tax rates can come back from the Franklin from city, just to make sure that not everybody's going to be impacted in a negative way. Uh, but then also, is there any consideration that uh, you might be able to integrate the museum into the library? Um, because you know, most people go look at that kind of thing would go to the library to look at those artifacts. I just wonder, is that an option? Genial. Just throw it out on the table. Oh, I may sure. just open up a can of worms. No, no. I don't know. I'm sorry it's, if I offended anybody. I didn't no. mean to do that. Brian, it's not a new discussion. <laughs> I I actually, I was actually told when I came on board as the director that if I gave away the historical part of the collection to the museum, that it would be my job. Um, but I now, think you'd integrate those but people. but we're talking about integration of services. We we partner with them all the time now. I just wonder if that's a possibility. I don't for I don't project. know, in terms of of I truly believe the mission of a museum, and the mission of a library are two separate things. But at the national level, there is a the institute is now museums and libraries. I mean, it's no longer separate institutions. But but I can't see us taking it all on. I mean, I know li there are two libraries in the state who actually have a tax for museums, and they'll tell you to a person it's not something you want to do, unless you bring all the staff on that knows how to run a museum, who knows how to do archival realia preservation. When we moved from the old building, we made sure that all those realia things went over to the museum. It's not what libraries are doing today. Well, I mean, be, libraries be, are really not preservation. Really, why not? Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. None. Have space there for <laughs> to me. I think what Brian's Partners. talking about is both entities being housed in the in the same in a same similar facility. Facility. Yeah, yeah. Where you and this you and take you over the museum, they still well, thank be you. That was my, separate and distinct. That was what yeah. I, was, I don't really. Yeah, I don't think right. Right. Not my that. forte. <laughs> Would you consider? Is there any validity in that? Uh, we've already had we've already had an initial discussion about setting up some meetings along that line. Just like we have with other offices, in terms of, you know, what are some feasible things to do together? Right, right. 
partnering good. I guess the thing I, maybe I'm struggling with a little bit and trying to get my hands around is, you know, normally on a project like this, maybe it comes before us and we see the blueprints and we have the land and this is what we're going to do and this is what we're going to build. And this is kind of a blank check scenario. You know, here, here it is. You know, we're not sure yet what we're going to do with it or we're not sure where it's going. That's just, you know, from my standpoint, I, I'm just a little bit uncomfortable with that. I'm just trying to... Again, you have a board. I mean, I guess I'm going to point out that, you know, despite what some of our learned fathers of the state believe, you do have seven very capable people that have been appointed to our board by various appointing authorities who are making very hard decisions, who are understanding what the economy, despite what you would also have some people here tell you, they're not people who have a lot of responsibility on their plates as well and making some hard decisions. So, you know, I don't know that that solves it for you, Josh, but I mean, truly, um, this isn't me doing this on my own. I think part of our problem, uh, at least as I've seen it, is a chicken and an egg problem, right? Yeah. Because hypothetically, let's say that we could go up on 31 and buy X number of acres. And then we can say, ah, here's our site. So then we know what we're going to put on it, how many parking spaces, and all of those things. But if, if, if one of our problems is where should it be, downtown, uh, for because it's a central location, or frankly, redevelopment, or any number of partnering, or out, of, out in the outskirts, then we don't know what it's going to look like. Because the problem is, where is it going to be? That's our chicken and egg problem. Beth, when the Trafalgar branch was built, did it go through the same two-step, basically, process? Uh, no. What did you do to choose that side and go through all the engineering? Oh, you mean did it go through the process of feasibility? Yes, very definitely. I'm sorry, I misunderstood the question. I thought you meant did we go before the city and the county for approval no. of the bonds? I'm very much apologize, very much. And and one of the big steps there was, and that's why we would be paying money out now, would be the, the charrettes that we did, where individuals uh, for two days came in and met with um, the landscape architects, the ar architects, and gave their ideas. And I think one of the greatest things to me right now is to go to Trafalgar and I'll have someone stand there and go, that was my idea. You know, so there's a lot of community buy-in, and that's part of this process too is getting the public involved in what, what is the building going to look like, what does it need, what does it say, possibly where is it going to be. I mean, we've made no firm commitment to, to build it downtown for many of the reasons we've talked about tonight. We'd like to do that. We think it's got some real possibilities, but we can't be responsible for solving downtown parking spots. 